Hello everyone and welcome to my home. Today I'm going to share with you a full tour of my homestead and why minimalism is not for me. Come on in, let me show you around. So everybody, I want to share with you why minimalism isn't for me. What you're looking at is my mobile home. Now it's very old and I tell everybody it's a 1963 very old mobile home. But I want to share with you all of the things in my home that mean so much to me. The saying is you really aren't supposed to love materialistic things, but I love the items that I have. You know, in minimalism, people get rid of most everything they have. For me, I couldn't do that. I grew up in a minimalist home. My mother didn't keep hardly anything. And for me, memories of loved ones long gone help keep my heart happy and it helps me to share the memories with all of you. I can't imagine living in a home where I didn't have these memories. So let me show you around just a little bit. 80% of everything you see in my home was given to me and it was things I found for free and it's thrift store finds and many memories. My home is a transport of memories. Thing from the oil lanterns to the table are family heirlooms. Pretty much everything you see is in some way an heirloom. Most of the furniture are heirlooms that were handed down through the generations of my Mennonite family. Most of the items come from my husband's family because they kept everything. On my mother's side, they pretty much didn't keep things, but I do have this old chest that my grandpa Brubaker made, and he was very plain Mennonite. I can't imagine my life without books. Books are a big part of my life, and if I was a minimalist, I wouldn't have these books. You know, the written word is something that is so transpiring. It can take you to places that you've never been. It can teach you things that you never knew. It can help you in times where bad. It would teach you how to learn new skills. All of my books are self-help and non-fictional. Down to the rocking chair, that was Grandma Groves. I remember sitting on this rocking chair many times, listening to stories of her childhood. I can't imagine if I was a minimalist, I probably wouldn't have that. So you can see that I like things. I'm not a hoarder of things. I just like them. I like displaying them. I like sitting in the evening and just reminiscing of all the memories. China cupboard holds hundreds of years of memories. Everything in the China cupboard is vintage, is very old, and they are antiques, and they are handed down from my family. There's also a few very old items that you all have given me through the years and I cherish them and I put them in my china closet and I look at them and enjoy them immensely. I think the older I get, the more I'm really into sentimental things and having memories and keeping them alive. Memories of loved ones that are long gone from this world. I keep all these things. I can't imagine having photos in a box. Memories of Grandma Fanny. We display them proudly. We remember her and we honor her life. Fanny, my husband's grandma, had one child and that was Marion. And Marion was my mother-in-law. And in here is a photo of Fanny's father-in-law. We're going back into the 1800s. I can't imagine not displaying these. But in a minimalist home, they wouldn't have a whole lot of photos like this. And to me, I think that's a shame. Home is my life. My home is where I spend a big part of my days. And I love to see all of the beautiful memories of people in my life. And I cherish them. I'll cherish them forever. You know, when people pass away, it is so sad, but we can keep their memories alive, and that is by sharing the things that they have. Things shouldn't be hoarded and put into a storage unit. They're to be shared and to enjoy and to love. That's why minimalism isn't for me. I know it is for a lot of people, but I could never live in a home that was empty. My home, when you walk into it, you can feel the sense of love and you can feel the sense of accomplishment because I share all of my loved ones in my home. I feel like they're with me. They have never left my side and it gives me great peace and comfort. I was often told that the people who actually put the mobile home on the property loved their mobile home and then they sold it to someone who, of course, 
let it run down. And by the time we got it, it was so dilapidated. We really didn't do a whole lot of difference other than paint and new flooring in our home. I can't imagine what they would think today if they could see how their home is being loved once again. There's something about an older home that brings you so much character, so much character in it. And this is what I want to share with the world, character and how you can decorate your home and however you enjoy it. All right, so here is the most embarrassing part of my home. It, it's my bathroom. It's very clean and tidy, but it's very old. But you know, you can make things to how you like them if it doesn't cost you much money. All right, I may have gone a little overboard, but my point across having a food storage is, if you're a minimalist, you don't have that. Well, look what happened this year with the virus and everything. I'm so thankful for my food storage because that is security. That's insurance. And I really love this pantry. I have many people come in this pantry, pick out items. My children come on a weekly basis and they get lots and lots of food. All three of my children get food from this pantry. So I really enjoy having a pantry and I know if times got tough, I could be able to support my family for a very long time. All right, so we're in the bedroom. Yes, the bedroom is very simple, but the bed bedroom shares more memories than my family. The quilts that my grandma made, the coverlet that a subscriber gave me because she didn't have anybody who wanted it and she knew I would cherish it. These are things that I, I will just enjoy. The traditions keep going alive. You know, this here, antique dresser was from the 1800s along with the clock and some of the beautiful oil lamp and then you see my husband and I yes my friends this is me I got married at age 17 so we mix the old with the new and it makes a beautiful display I wouldn't know what to do without this out porch because once again this is a food storage this is where it's store all my root crops so you can see the garlic hanging you can see the onions and I also have a lot of canned food here as well this is my second storage now a lot of you would say oh my goodness this looks like a lot of stuff it is a lot of stuff but it's stuff that we use and so it really is something that is a blessing to me in the winter months I love my hanging dehydrator it's great it's perfect as I'm going away from a lot of the modern appliances and I'm getting away from a lot of the electricity items things like this and all of my baskets I didn't pay over 50 cents for any of these baskets in fact most of them were free that I got for free along the road in boxes or dumpster diving and things like that being outside and I love this greenhouse this is the best $60 I've ever spent because I can spend most of my seasons in here other than probably January through March but the rest of the time I can be in here and still doing some work the outcast items and making them to something new I think is an amazing hobby and you're doing so much for the environment because you're not buying new you're taking old items that people thrown away and you're repurposing them the container on the left was an old Weber grill I took the top and the bottom of it and I made planters with it I think what I enjoy the most is my herb garden. I'm going to be extending the herb garden next year. It gives me so much peace and I just enjoy it so much being out here. But I think it's really important to make the inside of your home a place that it can help give you contentment because in the winter times when the snow is so deep, you can't go outside. So there you go, my friends. That is my home. It's very old and it's nothing too exciting and extra, but you know, it's my home. And I know minimalism is for a lot of people. It's just not for me. So there's my home. I'm on the edge of our property. I love living in Pennsylvania because it has all the different seasons. 
the leaves will turn a golden orange and brown and then fall and then we'll have winter time and my home looks totally different in the winter even my potting shed and the chicken house were other people's castaways things that people didn't want it's a little busy i know but it's my room where i just enjoy so much i know i know it's a little busy in here but this is my room where i just love being in here it is a garage and it is nothing very spectacular but all of these items i use in my videos i use as gifts i use to create beautiful things and i love it so much There you go everyone, you got a tour of my home. And of course at Christmas time I do my real big tour. The one that went viral last year. If you didn't see my Christmas tour from last year, it is a beautiful one. I'm gonna share with you at the end of this video. And an iCard right above me here. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, that's a promise. Do you enjoy my videos? Why don't you subscribe to me? And also, can you make sure you're still subscribed? Make sure that that red button is clicked on subscribe. We'll see you guys.